I'm Dr. Patricia Ackerman. I've been teaching at Kansas State University for the past 22 years on the technology and aviation campus. Um, my areas of expertise include critical thinking, writing center discourse, readability analysis, and plain language. So all of the frameworks of, of critical thinking scholarship agree that critical thinking involves interpretation and analysis. It's important sometimes when you're trying to define something to think about the antithesis of that definition. The antithesis or opposite of critical thinking has been defined. Um, the antithesis of an ideal critical thinker would habitually approach problem solving being intellectually dishonest. Well, first of all, the clear defining is important and then clearly stated objectives and then creating assignments or opportunities for them to grapple with or engage in that process. Bloom, move up that process of Bloom's taxonomy. Give them opportunities to evaluate, to analyze, to create um, using those principles of critical thinking. And so if we're talking about the context of, of climate change, for instance, I, I have students write about wicked problems that they're passionate about. and. Um, since I have a lot of aviation students, they frequently write, write about the problems with the pollution of jet fuel and the up and coming emerging technologies dealing with electronic or electric airplanes. And, and they, they do research on that, so they're grappling with their content, but then they're sharing it in, in an attempt to convince or teach someone else about the problems surrounding that. And it's specifically related to climate change. I'm, I'm actually very surprised um, for college students, the percentage of students in my classrooms who are passionate about environmental issues and climate change. When given the freedom to choose a topic, there, I would say probably 40 to 50 percent of the students choose something in that category, that that's what they're passionate about and that's what they want to learn more about and that's what they want to teach other people to care about. 